Hello everyone. We're at uh, Hauling Tail Hair Scramble and today... What? Oh, nothing. I think you saw my face. Because you said Hauling Trail and it's oh. Hauling Tail. <laughs> Hauling Tail. <laughs> my bad. Alright, um, it's Saturday? Yeah, today's Saturday. It's Saturday afternoon. Everybody is going out for their fun run lap and we just got new tires on the bike. So that's really exciting. It like needed tires, but it didn't need tires like that bad, but I figured to take care of it here and now while it's convenient so a vendor could do it and I didn't have to mess with it at home. And now I'm gonna go through tech. I just got my helmet. Disappoint everybody and let them know that I'm not racing the big pig this what? weekend. What? This is news to me. Yeah. Okay, here's what happened. We noticed that the shock bumper, right? You guys see that? There's supposed to be a bumper right there. And because this bike sat so long, that bumper is absent. We rode it at Kroom the other day. See, there's supposed to be a bumper. Let's look at this bumper here. See that big rubber bumper? Yeah, that's what stops the body of the shock from bottoming out. So if I race without that, I could do some damage. Now, if my suspension was perfect, I could probably race and not bottom out, but the fluid in these things, when it sits so long, this bike sat for 20 years, gets watery, and now we have this really sus bouncy suspension. So there would be a lot of bottoming. So we're gonna race the 250. Is your su suspension supposed to be that bouncy? No, no, it shouldn't. I like guess the whole reason why shocks exist. If it were just a spring, it would be bouncy, but it's a spring and a shock absorber, and that's what kind of makes it smooth. But that's just like, it's way too springy. I could race it like that, but it, I could also, it could get hot and get worse, and I would get a DNF, and I don't want a DNF here because I think I DNF'd last time here. I ran out of gas, and I just, I don't want to, I don't want to not finish. I want to finish. Where are you going? Tech inspection time. channel. So you're going to notice that this week I decided to try a different GoPro angle and I decided to put my GoPro on my front fender instead of wearing my chest mount that I normally wear. And it didn't work out so well. <laughs> the freaking GoPro fell off just a couple of miles into the race and I also didn't have that great of a start this week. girl in my class and then right off of the start if you pay attention you see a KTM to my right hand side that's Ashley so Ashley had a tough time starting her bike as well really too exciting going on here there's just whoops and sand this property was super dusty it would have probably been nice if they had gotten some rain. There was like one mud, mud area, but you could totally go around it so you didn't get muddy. That's what I did. I took like the right line that nobody else was taking. Um, 
But yeah, I just had nowhere to go. I was like first and second place are way far ahead of me. So I'm just gonna ride smart and try to stay off the ground. stoked about these like open field sections just because I don't think I do well in them um, I think there's a technique there like if you go like to the right and then you crisscross through the turns but honestly I just I'm like just don't fall don't fall don't slide and fall because these fields can be slippery look she's just getting plastered by the disgusting sand and I guess that it would be third place in front of me at this point in time. Yeah.
things going fine and dandy, right? But what you guys don't see in this dark, uh, dark ground is the fact that it's slippery AF. It's literally like if you were figure skating on ice and there's a lot of hidden roots. So my goal through this whole section was to not fall and I failed, I <laughs> failed miserably. left of me kind of got tossed up and I'm like oh I need to be super careful and I think I got a little uh, line crazy and I tried to steer to the right and then I steered to the left and then I ended up hitting a tree with my front fender and then the camera came off and that's where the GoPro footage ended. <laughs> Instead of taking my camera off of my zip tie, I zip tied it as a tether, which worked out in my favor, I kept riding and then I was like okay I'm gonna lose it so I should pull over now. So I pulled over and that's when the two other girls passed me again. Pretty much sums up of my race on my second lap. I actually collided with a family friend um, and my hand got squished in between our bikes and I straight up just pushed him off of his bike because I freaked out and I thought my hand was gonna be broken. And I do have a little bit of a bruise. I don't know if you guys can tell, but a little bit of a bruise here. So I feel like I avoided another broken bone. Gone, I already talked to him, he's fine. <laughs> anyway, that sums up my race, and here's Jacob's race in the afternoon. That's gonna be in the vlog. Hi, Ron. Yeah! Tommy hole shot. <laughs> <laughs>